Hey everyone, this is Chanyo66, and here's a quick tip of the week. If you have a 1500 milliwatt transmitter, you commonly cannot leave this thing running for very long. And if you want to run in a ground vehicle, or say inside an aircraft, you're really limited because you need airflow over these things or else they're going to overheat. So, what I did is actually went to a salvage yard, picked up an old motherboard uh, from a computer, and used the Northbridge cooler. Basically what I did is the cooler already had its epoxy on it, uh, that's a heat transfer epoxy. So I just uh, cleaned it up, made sure there was nothing on there, and attached it to the transmitter. It's lined up directly under the screen so you can uh, press the buttons w fine. And uh, then from there, I took the fan off and just ran some zip ties around it so that it holds it all on there even if it does get bumped around and then screwed the fan back on. From there, all I did was took the red and black wire running the fan, uh, which this is 12 volt, and tied it into the red and black that's coming to power my video transmitter. So now, my single connection connects the power to my fan and my video transmitter, so this will always have cooling. Keeps it running long and strong. Chan Yo, out.